Greetings all, this is Loki Fish Mars. Today we're going to be reviewing the Wabinga Bot from Nathan Oakley Institute of Engineering. It has advanced features like a math coprocessor designed to make it think that larger objects disappear before smaller objects. There's even a subroutine to steal rubber bands, which resulted in it stealing a year's worth of rubber bands from our supply closet. Rubber bands that we use for important projects like rubber band balls and even rubber band pillows. When we finally tracked it down, it had made this. Now, we weren't sure what was going on, so we let it demonstrate what this experiment was. It says that you can see this, which we agree. It says that you can even see this tiny thing, which we agree. It then surprised us with this result, that you can't see any of that because it's beyond your angular resolution. Now it also has a random number generator tied to a pigeon on chessboard chip that picks from over 600 pre-formatted responses. Now we contacted FE Peer Review to get his approval to release it on the comment section on one of his latest videos. As you can see, it worked flawlessly. Every time anybody brought up that there was a curve in the video, it denied it and it said that it was proof of flat earth. At the end, it even threw out a couple of insults, which is actually kind of a nice feature. So on top of that, there is even a logic chip with pattern recognition. This logic chip will not accept curve, evidence, or sphere as valid input. In order to test this logic circuit, we let it loose on yet another one of FE Peer Review's videos showing that, no, the target was indeed hidden by a curve. If you read the comments on that video, you'll see that yet again, it worked flawlessly. Now it's not all bad though, because it's powered by the second most common element in the universe, stupidity something that Flat Earth seems to have an unlimited supply of. We did run into a problem, however. It needed to be constantly reset because it would get stuck in a loop. Now this seriously affected its final score. It even got worse when we gave it its final score of one out of 10. Its curve filter kicked in, ignored the zero because there are curves there. So it kept thinking that it got a one out of one score. It would shout victory and kept running around in circles congratulating itself until we hard reset it. So we adjusted the grading scale to a four out of 11. This of course made it cry inconsolably while repeating earth is flat and larger objects disappear before smaller objects. This was so ir irritating that it was decided to not hard reset it and ship it back to Nathan Oakley Institute of Engineering in that state. I mean, it's their bot, so they can fix it themselves. So just remember, next time you encounter Wabinga in comments and chats, it's only a bot and is limited by its core programming. Until next time, if you would like to see more content, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you would like to help support the channel, there'll be a PayPal donation link in the description. Until next time, this is Loki Fish Mars.